Today we will try to understand why W211 is the greatest E-Class in history of Mercedes and W212 is the beginning of cheap quality Mercedes and disappointment in materials of interior beyond lowest expectations. Let's start from W211. Development of W211 took 4 years and 2 billion euros. That is double what was spent on W140. But what came out was a miracle from automotive heaven. In total, Mercedes sold more than 1.5 million of W211s worldwide. W211 looked massive compared to W210. It had juicy curves and the right amount of fat in all right places. And any man loves the right amount of fat in all right places. But the strange fact is that W211 was 20 kilograms lighter than W210. And W211 had potential for even bigger curves. The platform of W211 was shared with burger-loving Chrysler 300C, Dodge Charger and Dodge Magnum. And Magnum is the best name for any consumer product in the world. If I will have a son, I am definitely naming him Magnum. But I am glad that W211 came out the right size. It had better drag efficiency than C7 Corvette. W211's was 0.27 and Corvette's was 0.28. I have two favorite designs of W211. First one is the facelift version and second one is W211 with AMG pack. Pre-facelift versions of W11 looked okay, but not stunning. Any W211 has the luxury presence and feels massive. It does represent luxury and glory of Mercedes when you look at it. Front grille and headlights have simple design that screams Mercedes E-Class at anybody that looks at it. Back of the car has even simpler design, but everything looks proportionate, and general look of the car is more luxurious than W220. On my brilliant channel with best brilliant subscribers, I have review of W211, E500, E55 and E63. If you're interested, link is below. Structure of the W211 is stiffer than W210, and you can feel that even on the low speeds, at every corner that you approach, the W211 is more agile than W210. But car feels heavy and even more luxurious than W220. And that I think is the first time when E-Class felt better than S-Class. Welcome to the most luxurious interior in the history of E-Class. First that hits you when you open the door is the smell of real leather and wood. An expensive plastic that is mixed with rubber smell of timeless and reliable materials that will never disappoint you and fail, just like teenager's boner, at slight scent of a female. And W211 has this feel in any trim, but AMG or E500 will take you to the world of my bag status. Leather is thick and even with 100 or 150,000 kilometers, leather in interior still smells and feels good. Seats are big, and they hug you when you just sit in them. Your heartbeat and your breathing becomes calmer and you feel cared and loved in this car. It gives you the same feeling as spooning with someone who you love. You just drown in those seats. Dashboard had simple but at the same time luxurious looks. All buttons felt expensive. Everything you touched felt great. When you drive slow, you pay attention that doors, seats and armbar hugs you and you feel so loved and in peace. At night interior lights relaxes your eyes. While you're driving it, you experience no stress and zero care about anything in the world. Car does feel special. I drove the most expensive E500 with all the options that were available at that time. If you want to see the review, link is below. It had 7-speed gearbox, air suspension, adaptive cruise control, massage seats, it had everything that W220 had. And when I drove it, I didn't care about it at all because car felt luxurious enough just not using all that stuff, just sitting there felt very nice, felt special. But the best W211 that I ever drove is E63. This engine delivers immediately and you just feel adrenaline kicking in your system instantly every time you just slightly touch accelerator. In W211 E63 you have best of two worlds, performance and luxury. You have high quality interior that can send you to another planet with its materials and how it holds your body. 
and also you have 6.3 naturally aspirated engine that can wake up any person in coma by just listening to it. My dream car is W211 E63 that is on warranty without any problems, that is fixed. Because this car is not for show or for status or for anybody else. This car is for you because you don't care about anything or anybody that is near you or what's happening. You just drive it and you love it. And funny part is that W211 is not for fast driving. But when you have this rare feeling of flooring it, E63 is the best engine to do this job. Now, after explaining why do I love W211 and with full mouth of saliva, let's talk about the problems of W211. Problems with W211 in 2022 depends on how much previous owners spent on the maintenance and how he or she drove it. I do not recommend buying W211 with 7-speed gearbox and air suspension. Air suspension will constantly fail. It is better to buy a set of air suspension not from the Mercedes but from private companies that give 10 years warranty. And there are a few companies on the market right now. They specialize on manufacturing air suspension for old Mercedes. And 7-speed gearbox is okay but you cannot drive it aggressively because it doesn't like aggressive starts, burnouts and stuff like that. It's just, it's not reliable. It will have some issues all the time. Either chips will fail or it will overheat, there are always some problems with this gearbox. Also there are some problems with the brake pumps. Sensatronic brain control can fail after 200 or 300 thousand kilometers, but in the facelift versions they solved that problem. That problem was from the factory. I will not talk about 6.3 and 5.5 AMG W211s because they have some problems and they're also review link below as I said before. If you want to watch the problems of the car just click there below. If you want to buy W211 but do not have much to spend on this car then buy W211 with the least amount of options that is possible. Just leather seats and wooden trim is enough for you to feel happy in W211 and avoid cars that don't have clean service history just don't do it don't risk it then you will be okay now let's talk about w212 mercedes also spent two billion dollars on developing w212 and another billion for facelift versions and in total three billion dollars and w212 is one of the ugliest e-class ever made and it had same quality of interior as toyota camry weird front was strange to look at and some e-class lovers said that with time it will be popular but more than decade passed and nobody cares about this car nobody's looking at it even on second hand market just the prices are very low for those cars sometimes even w11 more expensive than w212 weird headlights ruined the whole look of the car and it had no proportions with the back of the car Design at the back was much more eye appealing than front. Front and back just don't look the same. When I look at this car, I have a feeling that it was assembled from different Mercedes. And actually, it was designed from different Mercedes. They use some designs from W204, from W211, and you can see that this mess just wasn't looking good. But strangely, car was very popular in USA, but not in Europe. I must say that structure of the car was improved. Drag efficiency was better than in W211 and Technologically, car was more superior than W211. From first meter, you can feel the dominance that it had in handling, acceleration and braking. And the structure of the car was much better. W212 is heavier than W211, but it felt light because of the witchcraft distribution of the weight and very good structure engineering. I drove W211 E350 and I drove W212 E350. And in the corners, W212 was much faster car and it was more predictable than W211, safer, better handling. It just loved the corners. Any W212 had better power delivery than W211. And W212 AMG 6.3, the early ones, is just amazing tool for the crazy driving. But when you compare W212 interior and W211 interior, it's like comparing luxury, presidential suite in very expensive hotel with trash can that is located just in busy city. W212 used recycled materials and tried to be more environmentally friendly with this interior. Leather was so bad that after 30,000 kilometers, driver seats were worn out. It smelled not so nice, it smelled a little bit cheap. And feel of the leather was also cheap. Even with the wooden package, everything felt cheap. Also, wooden package was very sensitive to sun and to cold weather. 
just would crack and that's it. Any interior in W212 had no luxury feel. Door panels, armrests were made from melted Barbies. And God knows what Mercedes found in trash cans. Dashboard looked futuristic but felt worse than Camry. The plastics were just too cheap in this car. But weirdly, W212 were more reliable cars than W211. The problems with the car were just with electronics, sometimes they can go crazy, and like any Mercedes with age, electronics will go crazy. Engine chain almost in all engines must be changed after 100,000 kilometers, and all plastic parts in cooling must be changed on time. Just you must always look at them and always check because if they crack, your cooling will leak and uh, you will have overheat engine. Oil pump must be checked for pressure frequently or your engine will starve for oil and you will have big problems with oil hunger. Maintenance of the car was the same, just like W211. Only premium fuel, change oil every 6-7 thousand kilometers and 5-speed transmission in those cars can last for 3 or 400 thousand kilometers if you change oil every 50 thousand kilometers. But 7G Tronic can die after 100 thousand kilometers. In the facelift version of W212 they had improved 7G Tronic transmission, it called 7G Tronic Plus, with many changes that increased the life of the transmission up to 300 thousand kilometers. So if you want to buy W212 buy the facelift version with the 7 speed gearbox you will have the performance you will have this very good shifts and it will be more reliable than old 7g tronics also air suspension were more reliable than in w211 it doesn't matter how much mileage the car did but what mattered was the age after about six seven years all the air suspension must be changed and you must always clean them then you will be okay and the air suspension will last for many many years because Mercedes made very good protection of the air suspension from any dirt, dust and chemicals. I always observe Mercedes used market. So W212 and W212 facelift have very different value on second hand market. Because facelift version looks much better, has less problems and is more desirable. Sometimes W211 in good condition is more expensive than pre-facelift version of W212. But facelift versions are always desirable. For me W212 is faster, more modern, handles much better than W211, but it has no soul at all. Like the car just feels dead when you drive it normally. There is no luxury feel, you don't feel happy in it, there's no comfort, it doesn't make me smile and only if I drive it like a lunatic then I can enjoy the car because of its performance but for everyday use for normal driving W211 kills W212 with its comfort interior and general feel of the car. W211 is lazy, it's fat and slow but you can feel 2 billion dollars when you drive it. Let me know in the comments what is the best E-Class for you. Thank you for watching. Do not forget about the charity project called Food for Life Ooze. They need your financial support or volunteers. Link is below. Take care and bye-bye.